back to school for most students across the Front Range. And for a lot of parents, that means calling up the allergy doctor and refilling their child's EpiPen prescription. Makes sense, but more and more parents are getting hit with sticker shock. Denver 7's Mark Boyle explains why the EpiPen is skyrocketing in price and where to find cheaper alternatives. We instruct our patients never to put your thumb on either end. Because all too often people will hold it the wrong way, especially in the urgency of the moment. The EpiPen. Almost everybody has heard about it, and it can be life saving for people with severe allergies facing the potential for anaphylactic shock. Without question, in the, in the right situation, fatal reactions do occur, and it's unfortunate that they'll occur. But can you tell the difference between these? The EpiPen brand will run you $600 or more. The generic alternative, called AdrenaClick, can be found for as low as $140 in some places. It's a real problem for families because most families need more than one EpiPen. They need one for school, maybe one for daycare, one for mom's house, dad's house, um, uh, grandparents, etc. So um, they end up going through quite a few of these. EpiPen prices have gone up 30% in the last year alone. Mainly because of a lack of consistent competition in the market. But there's a free app to help you price compare called Good RX. And here are some of the generic prices we found just around our downtown location. You can see some of these are a third of the price of the EpiPen. But if you're looking for a more alternative anytime soon, the FDA appears to be as cautious with the new products as many of you are about nuts in your child's food. The other devices that come along are novel, and so people have to be trained up how to use them. There could be some confusion about how to use them, and that's one of the worries that the FDA has as the new products coming to market. Reporting in Centennial, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.